Uh, and all the doors and windows, proportions, placement will be based on Sapati Vedas. Again, this is something we can we can talk in the in the long course uh, in afternoon. Uh, the color selection will be based. On, color we already talked about non-toxic. Everything non-toxic. Anytime you use building material, ask a question: Is it non-toxic or is it toxic? That's a question you should always ask when you are using any building material in your house because you want to make sure that the more toxic, more you get hurt health-wise. And in fact, now we have a US, we have a medical doctor. He comes to you and examine your body and say, okay, you have a respiratory problem or you have a um, stomach problem, right? Digestion problem or you have an intestine problem. They don't give you medicine immediately. Then they go into the house and take a sample of color, sample of wood, sample of floor. Go in laboratory and find out what it contains. And then they find if they find any any toxic material, any toxic chemical with which it was made of, then they know that problem in that body is nothing to do with the food but it has to do with that building which is made of. So then they correct the building, not the patient. <laughs> and patient gets corrected. You know what I'm saying? Now, there might be some medicine they might be giving so that until the corrections are made, they don't suffer, they don't have pain. But main thing is problem lies in the building, not the patient. And then that is... But there are doctors now in the US that they come and examine your house first and you and they don't give you medicine but they said change the color or, or remove the plaster, put the new plaster, remove this wood or whatever they find. They go and see, so this is a new thing because government has not a good restriction on the building material. That's why we have a problem. Government don't have a good restriction in any government, no restriction on a medical medicine. You live up in America, now we have a law that they advertise medicine and they tell you what's wrong as a side effect. When you hear that advertisement and I, I get sick and tired of it, but when you when you see that advertisement, they said, oh, this is a medicine, it's very good for your heart. You will not have a heart attack. You will prevent heart attack. Then the side effect is about, it will create a heart attack. The side effect is about creating a heart attack and the medicine is to help you to not to have a heart attack. What's going on here? I mean, there is something somebody is making you fool all the time and government lets you do that. Why? Because I mean, in America, we have a lobby of the, of the medicine people. Here we go. So, so this is a one house, for example, as you can see, it's a vast home. Uh, we designed it in um, It has a on the top. Uh, this is a Brahmastan with a staircase going up. Um, then uh, it has a kitchen. Uh, this is a Brahmastan which gets a light. You can see how, how bright it is. Uh, this is a kitchen which has a east on this side, south on this side. Uh, and this is the hall. So as you can see, this is a kitchen. All right, okay. <laughs> so we can go to the next well. <laughs> or we can do it again. Let's uh, do it again one more time. So that they can get a chance to see. It goes too fast, unfortunately. Um, okay, here we go. So this is the east, east side of the house, um, and this is the east entrance. You can have a porch like that coming out. That's okay. Brahmastan in middle staircase going up. Uh, staircase made with the wood. Um, kitchen has a east side. We put the burner as it is shown there. Uh, I mean, the burner is on each side and then the sink, which is not in the right place, but client wants. Sometimes we tell them what is right according to Vastu, but they don't want it. So, so it's a compromise. So this is the second house. This is the house I was telling you. This is a house is completely off the grid. Everything, water, electricity, telephone, everything he has got his own. In fact, the telephone he has is a satellite telephone. <laughs> so he, he, he has got some kind of deal, he doesn't pay money for that. So here you go. It's a, like you can see, it's a stone paving here. 
it's a plaster. This wall is made with a compact machine. You can buy a machine in, in, in the US and you put a soil and then it gives a pressure. And uh, it's an only soil, it's, a, it's like 60% soil, 20% sand, and another 10% silt, they call it. It's a very refined sand. You put together, no cement, and then you then give a 2500 psi pressure, and it makes a block. And they put block and build a wall. And just like a, just like a concrete block, this is an earth block, they call it. Uh, in Mexico, New Mexico, they, they have a wooden platforms. And they put the soil in there, the one I said that you mix together. And then you can have a sun here, beautiful here. In summertime, you bake them on your ground and then pile the blocks. And then you put a concrete foundation and then make a block. And then from outside, you put a plaster, which is waterproof. So you put uh, fiberglass in that, fiberglass plaster so that the water doesn't come into the block. That's the only thing. And then the wall has to be higher so that if there is a water pedal pool, the water doesn't sink into the... It only gets weak when you sink the water inside. So that's another thing they do in New Mexico, completely nature supporting. They make a block in... in, in the skies. Uh, Yeah, this is another one. It's in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We need an office building. You can see the cupola on the top. That's a cupola. That's where the Kramastan is. It's a huge, very big building, like 70 feet by 70 feet long. And it's an office building, and they have a warehouse at the back. And uh, uh, this is their uh, uh, Brahmastan. Uh, so this is like a, a reception. This is looking to the east. And there is a company board. And behind that, there is a Brahmastan in right in the middle. So the way um, this is designed is such a way that they have a um, Brahmastam in the middle and then they have a, a courtyard in the middle. And on the courtyard, this is a skylight. And then they have office around. So office is getting light from the outside and light getting inside. So, it's, it's, so there is no dark space and they don't use uh, artificial light. So everything is on nature. So. And then the last one is... Um, Okay, this is a temple uh, I was involved in India or in London. Uh, this is how they built the temple. They built the part first and then obviously second. And then they go and build the third one and then so and so forth. And it's all um, made in marble. The marble was bought in Italy. It was cowed in India and shipped to London. <laughs> it took 15 years to do this project, although I was not involved all 15 years, I was only involved four years and then I came to the US. Um, but it's, it's, it's a unique to see that right in the middle of the London, uh, they have built this temple out of marble, which is quite exciting to look at. So, I think that was the last thing, right? Yes. Okay. So, any questions anybody has, love to answer if you are still, have, I mean, who feel that I still not sure how to do Vastu? Let's see, let's, let's ask a question. Who think that um, I'm not sure what Vastu is? Anybody is still in that problem? No, okay. Who thinks that you can go home and you can do something with your house? Who thinks that you can go home and do something with your house? Okay, there are two, three, three people. What's happening to other people here? <laughs> four. There are four people now. Yes. Well, I'm, for, I'm, not very, I'm not an architect, so I suppose most people here are not. Um, but my problem is to orient all the time when you're saying east, west, to be able to kind of focus at the same moment, see my house, see how it is, relate what you're saying. So this is, this is I, know, I know we have an architect here, yes. so what yes. I think is the most important thing is that we have to digest uh, what you're saying in right. order to be able to say, well, what am I going to do with this knowledge? Right. So I suppose everybody's having the same feeling. Right. Well, I mean, the, the, the two things you can do, those who are still here doing the course today afternoon until Sunday, uh, we are going to go, everything we do here, we are going to go in a very, very deep depth and go and really get iron out. So on Sunday night, 
if they say that we don't know how to do building, then I didn't do my job. So we are going to do that. Those who are living tonight, today, at this lunchtime now, there is a CD we sell, and I'm not selling here, but this is a, another equipment available. There is a CD. Um, how, how much we sell to this? Gildas. So that's a CD there. It whole course of what we are going to teach in these three days is in that CD. So it's in that city, and, and then you just put in computer, and, and then you can learn. Yes, please, please. Oh yes, yes. What is Kalashi? Sure, we can order from us. If you can go and put um, this house here, Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, different um ipotrimediale Pudim é calagem de nove tipos de pedra preciosa. Para esses tombos, o povo usa, tem a calagem de poder no caminho do lugar. Tem que usar a proporção de gente. Isso. Isso. O centro de local está no fim. É centro. Muito bem. Tem calagem de calagem de calagem. Vamos ver se podemos ver esse pedido aqui. Tem calagem que vai para o topo aqui. Tem calagem que vai para o topo aqui. Right from the top here. Mm -hmm. uh, here we did, this building was not totally finished, so we haven't done it here in this, but it goes on the top here. And what is this color sheet? It's basically, it's like antenna. It's like an antenna to your house, but this is not antenna for television. Uh, this is an antenna for getting a cosmic energy stronger coming to your Brahmastan. It takes 365 days once you build the house to get a perfect energy coming of the entire cosmos. But if you put this colors on the top, uh, what Vastu is saying is that you enhance the energy faster. Uh, and even the energy they take more, better by putting this color. Colors is made with the copper. Copper is considered to be the more susceptible material in terms of cosmic energy. And we put uh, uh, some waters and herbs and five types of metal goes in that. And this is the recipe, they, this is a Vastu recipe. Uh, and then they create a container. It's a seal on the top. Uh, and then you put it on right on the Brahmastan where you put a cupola. And then you have a roof, and a roof of the cupola. And then you put the colors on the top. So, yes. Uh, let's say your, your house is not entirely rectangle. It's, yes. it's, a, it's an L shape. Okay. So I suppose the center of your house would be outside in the garden. Outside the in the garden. garden. Because when you draw when right. you draw the ninety one points right. to take the center, yes. it's gonna be like outside the house. Okay, so this is how you do. So the way that, uh, the way you read the uh, rectangular is by so, I don't know how the rectangular is, but this rectangular, if your house is a rectangular like this, where this is north, this is east, then this is auspicious. But if your house is like this, and this is north, and this is east, this is not auspicious. So, if you have a house like this, it's time to move. <laughs> so we just build in the house, so I don't think... You're we just move. building the house? Yes. <laughs> Did you start it or you haven't started it? Yeah, we, we started like uh, six months ago. Six months ago. Is it like this or is it like that? It's like that. Like that? Yes. That's the north? That's the east? Yeah. Okay, so... Oh dear. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so if I was to put, I was to put it on the 91 pile. So you, you, you connect here? Yeah. 
Then your Brahmastan will be now outside the house. That's all I That's okay. Huh? You can hear it. In India, they built they built um, they built a um, house like this. Yeah. So there is a courtyard in the middle. Yeah. And there is a Brahmastan. This is the best Brahmastan you can have because it's, there is you don't need any skylights. You don't need any colors even in this. This is directly connected to the cosmos. But in your case, you have to do this thing. In your case, you have to design something here. Another another room or a building or something. So that now we are finishing all four corners of the building. But you can't go out here or you can't go out here. You have to put a fence here. Yeah, there will Create be a courtyard and put a room here. Yeah, because it work. has an east entrance. So, right. so if it's the east entrance is great, wonderful. But still, when you are in the courtyard, not to go out from here. Okay. That's not good. And then you will have us to fence around it. Mm -hmm. Like that. And then if you don't have a problem, problem the lady is here. So, so talk to her. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> all right. So, um, any other questions? Uh, anybody is doing a house or thinking of building? I have a question for the project. Yes. Uh, for the listeners or for the CP. For uh, example, we're thinking that past the fence. No, no, no. I mean, um, if I, maybe we should explain, you know, step by step, what is past the fence? Because we have past the fence and we have, we have house fence. Oh, we, yeah. We don't right. use the name with um, confused. Right, right, right. Uh -huh. okay. okay, so when I drew here, when I drew here, I did this telling her that there is a fence here because she doesn't have a square. So she has to put a room here and then she has to put a fence, it's called house fence. But you still, she still need a vastu fence like this because remember I said when you design everything right in your house, then this is fully protected with the cosmos. So anything you do, you have a positive thoughts, positive energy. But you don't live always like a gentleman here. I forgot your question. Ronald. Ronald loves to work outside. He loves to do garden. He loves to do any, many activity outside. And we were talking the other day. Now, that land has to be very positive. So how we make it positive? The way you make it positive is by creating a vastu fence around here. And that was the fence should not be made with metal. That was the fence should be made with wood or a brick or a stone. Or plan. Or plan. Or plan. Or plan. Yeah. But no metal. Okay? If you use metal, then now you are doing electromagnetic field around your house, which is worse than anything you can have in your house. Because now it's, it's, a, it's called camouflage effect, yeah. which is very, very bad. So, no metal. And if you have metal around your existing house, start thinking how you're going to change that one. Yeah. How you change that. So, is it clear now? So, any, any area now we are working between Vastu fence and house is all positive energy around it. Okay? So. But, like we have here, we have a house uh -huh. and we, um, around our. Um, yeah. Yeah. Our land. Uh, around our land, we have a wall. Right. Is that the first wall? Well, it's, it becomes a first wall because it's existing. Yes. And any physical element, when you introduce next to the house, it becomes the first element. In this case, we call it compound wall. Okay. Um, so, if it is made with the metal, then you should start thinking about it, either removing or changing. Because um, it depends on how many metal you do. Because even if you want to do something with wood, well, you yeah. may need some, some Yeah, that's some fine. Metal. It is fine. It is fine. Um, if you say a uh, percentage, don't go more than 10%. Okay, and then the another part. 
The way it makes a, a, a electromagnetic field effect is when you make a continuous connection between all the wall, then it becomes camouflage effect. Now then it becomes, they call it paradigm effect, they call it. So then it means that now if you have created a circuit, and the circuit becomes charged much, much faster. This energy, you don't feel bad when you touch it, but it is bad when you have longer time with it as a metal, and it changes the energy in your body, which you see in terms of disease rather than anything else. Yes, ma'am. Right, what you mean? What you mean with metal? Because uh, a lot of fencing here, we have blocks and we have iron work. So iron is a metal. Mm -hmm. Aluminium is another thing. Uh, copper is okay to use. If you have copper uh, mm -hmm. fence, but it's expensive. Mm -hmm. But if you have one, don't leave them. Don't remove them. If it's copper. Um, <laughs> But it's expensive. I don't know how many people they have that. And stainless steel is okay. Again, uh, like plastic is okay. Plastic is okay. Plastic is because plastic does not help or does not hurt. It's one of that thing. But if you have wood fence, it helps because it's a wooden uh, wooden uh, wood. Wood is good for your health. So stone is good for your health, or earth is good for your health. Yes, if you have forest metal, well, you could take it away. If you have forest metal, you said 10%, but uh, Right, if you have more metal than that, um, with the existing house, I don't know what you should do because but if you're removing that, it is going to cost you so much money. Wait until you think of moving to the new house. I would, I would wait for it. Because still it's outside the house, it's not inside the house. Right, so. um, another question. Please. We have like a fence, like harmonica. Yeah. Fence. It's a small, small iron. Okay. We use with, with some uh, steels. Uh, we call this thing. To make a fence. Okay. There is also. Yeah, that is also. Right, because it's now continuous, right? It's yeah. connecting. Every metal is connecting another metal. So it is more worse than just a little metal and then concrete or brick column, then a metal and a brick column. That's still better than having a wall with a continuous metal connected to it. That is washed. That is washed uh, in terms Does of the most of the most of the ever got fence? Continuous. <laughs> so that's another thing now. Water was the one thing we talked about, which is a big problem here. Drinking and location and nothing metal is the second thing we are touching. I think it is island. It is you should change it if other don't. Or when you move to the next house, make sure you don't go there. Because at least you are now in a new place with a less problem. Any other question? Anybody? I think we are approaching almost twelve thirty here. Well not probably here. The most of the material we need to make a build the house, we have to import it. That that make it expensive. Ah, that's but that's the reason why that's the reason why I'm saying that if you guys can create art law. The only thing we do here is the block. It's a concrete block. Yes. But you can also do art block. You put an art block inside and a concrete block outside. So now you have a very thin block you use, that like four inch or six inch block. And then inside you can put another four or six inch art block. And once you do that, then now you've got 12 inch wall, which is very good insulation. And health wise. That second house we saw in the first house, this one. This has a earth wall inside and a stud wall outside. So when you are sitting inside, it's serene. It feels so good because it's all earth around you. You feel very warm, very very cozy with, with that with that energy. It's very good energy. So think about earth block and earth wall or ramper they call. Rembrandt is where they put the water with a normal earth and a sand and then they put a foam work and then they press, they give a pressure and when it dries they remove the remove the foam and the wall stands there and it's inside so you don't have to worry about the water, water coming to is that okay? Well, thank you again and uh, uh, any those who are in afternoon we meet again and uh, Sareda is going to now fix the time. What, um,